Good day, I'm Noxula Lamini with your top stories this hour. City of Joburg to launch JMPD WhatsApp hotline to report reckless drivers. The South African Human Rights Commission released findings on probe into hate speech against EFF. Taxi passenger testifies about Duduzani's trial. The city of Joburg has created a new WhatsApp hotline to report reckless drivers which will be operated by the Johannesburg Metro Police Department. The city said that drivers and Joburg people would be able to send photos and videos. Joburg Mayor Hemen Mashaba is expected to launch the hotline and reveal more details about how it would work. Public Safety MMC Michael San said the city was receiving several requests for JMPD officers to be deployed to more areas. Day in and day out, they receive reports about a lot of reckless drivers on the roads who even drive towards oncoming traffic and pavements. South African Human Rights Commission will release its findings following an investigation into a string of complaints of hate speech by Economic Freedom Fighters members, including its leader, Julius Malema. The, SH, the SAHRC said it was a complex investigation weighing up freedom of expression against hate speech. It's not yet clear exactly which incident the commission was investigating or the nature of complaints. The first witness called by the state into the trial of Duduzani Zuma is a passenger who was in the taxi when it was stuck by his sports car. Day two of the trial has started at the Renberg Magistrates Court. Yesterday, Zuma pleaded not guilty to the charge of capable homicide and reckless driving. Charlotte Ndlangisa told the court that she was seated next to Pumzile Dube, who died in the crash. She recalled the force of the collision momentarily forced the taxi onto its side and Dube was partially hanging out of the window. The next witness will be an accident reconstruction expert. Let's have a look at your sports update with Ayanda Vesi. Good day, I'm Ayanda Vesi with your job at TV Sports News. South Africa's under-23 team produced a 3-0 win against Angola in last night's Africa under-23 Cup of Nations qualifier at Bidvestbed Stadium. Competing a confident first step towards next year's Tokyo Olympics, South Africa won by, by an aggregate of 6-1 after beating Angola 3-1 in the first leg on Saturday. The three goals came from Jenny Weber in the 10th minute, Tebu Mukwena in the 70th and Luda Singh in the 93rd. Amla still part of South Africa's plan for the World Cup, says Proteas coach Otis Gibson. The 35-year-old who has mainly opened the ODI betting with Quinton de Kock over the years, has not played for a competitive match for almost a month since he was given a time off to take care of his ill father. Amla has been also removed from his Cape Copras rooster for their momentum one-day cup semi-final clash against the Titans at Supersport Park on Wednesday, with coach Ashwell Prince saying they have given him time and space. And lastly, South Africa's tennis star Kevin Anderson keeps shining after he booked a quarterfinal spot in Miami. Anderson beat Australia's Jordan Thompson yesterday. The six-seeded Anderson is playing in the tournament for the first time since January. He won 7-5, 7-5 against the, number, the world the number 77 to reach his third Miami quarterfinal. He had previously reached this stage in 2011 and 2018. Kevin will face the winner between fourth-seeded Roger Federer and Daniel Medvedev, who are playing against each other today. That's it from me, Ayanda Vezi, and the sports team. Goodbye. Now to your weather and traffic updates. Thank you, Nutula. Good afternoon. And we're looking at our traffic in Alexandra at London Road. Traffic lights are not working on the N3 highway, and heavy traffic is causing frustration on that road. Sunny Hill on the N1 road, there is traffic restrictions before Bucklow interchange due to road works taking place. There is also queuing traffic in Bramfontein towards Crown interchange due to road works on the M1 road. And in Germiston on the N3, there is a stationary vehicle a uh, motorist should be on the lookout on that road. With our weather this afternoon, Johannesburg and Midrand are at 23 degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Pretoria at 25 degrees Celsius and those who are traveling to Santon, there will be a max of 24 degrees Celsius. That's it from the news team and I. Goodbye.